What do you drive driving nitro? How many horses? 1,000. What is up guys and welcome back to Snowcat SRT Vlogs. Fortunately, the actual head of this division is now too tired and almost half asleep. I can't man, today I'm just, I, 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 I don't know, I'm just tired. And I am full of energy, so now we're gonna go and see the Hellcat, see what work needs to be done, see what we need to get, see what we're gonna change and see where the rest of this time goes. And hopefully this car doesn't break, otherwise Snowcat is literally carless. No, no, trusty Ram, never gonna break down. Yeah, the Hellcat is going through a little bit of an update, a little bit of a refresh. So uh, we're gonna go check up and see what, what they're doing with it. Last time we were there, they had everything off, so we're it gonna see tragic. that. It looked tragic. Oh, it looked good, man, lightweight, super legera. <laughs> To admit today is hot. You drove this on Instagram the other day. You drove it. Man, the shifter that like shifts out of frame, man. It's, it's literally <laughs> a meter difference between first and second. And it's got a what? A transplanted engine from a Lexus? Yeah, two liter. It's got like yeah, it's, it's got I mean, it's, valve time as well, so it's got VTEC. I mean, might not look like much, but cars like this just give you so much happiness. You don't need like a thousand horsepower to have fun. All right, so what's happening here? Well, first of all, I wanted to correct the stance. So the front's got spacers now and they stick out nicely. Uh, I was not very happy with the fact that they were too much inwards and yeah, you know, first time having a stanced car, I guess. So you live and you learn and the back has been taken off as well just to make sure we might get spacers for the back once everything is settled. But uh, yeah, there are some changes. So changing the color of the hood. And as you can see, all of the gloss black parts. So everything underneath there side for the skirts. lips, side skirts, the wing, I mean the spoiler, not the wing, uh, the rear bumper with the diffuser, all of that has been taken off and will be done in carbon fiber, but not at just any carbon fiber. We're doing it in raw carbon at Titan Automotive here in Bahrain. So I think he already picked up the parts. I'm not sure, I didn't see them when we were coming in. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go to his shop and also have a look on the whole process. They're gonna need to make molds and then uh, finally do the whole conversion. What are you working on, man? You know we always bother you. So what are you guys up to? Just came here to see the Hellcat, see how's it going. How's what are you doing with the Hellcat? So I'm upgrading the, the, I'm just changing all the lips and stuff into carbon fiber. Ah, oh, that's why that was here the other day. <laughs> God damn. Oh, hi YouTube. <laughs> He's turning to nitrous. Yes, I, I like the nitrous idea. Oh, okay. Because that's like a safe way we can add power, because other than that we can't, right? There's no such thing. Yeah, well, I mean, there's no such deal. thing as safe power, guys. It's always, it's always, there's always something that might go wrong. Even with a stock car, I guess. Oh, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of shot? I don't know, how much do you want? A hundred shot. Oh, that's easy. Is that easy? Yeah, that's easy. Is it good on the engine? Yeah. We can start with a 50 and go up so I can no, least we like... we start with 125. 125? Yeah. Okay. Then uh, you might... You can go up all the way up to 250. So what? So 125 is wheel horsepower or is that crank? Supposedly crank horsepower. Uh -huh. But most of the time it makes as much as that in the wheels. I mean 50, 75 is nothing. You can't even feel it. But 125 is not going to be like bad. No, you're not going to see black and white now. Okay. No, right. that's, that's just another 100 on top of the yeah. you It's like a little bit of boost. Yeah. Okay. Nitrous, what, like a or or we could do one thing. We could shoot two birds with one stone. Because we'll have the progressive controller, basically we'll jet it up all the way to 250, like as much as that system can go. And because it's a progressive controller, we can we can have two different tunes, like one that makes 50, one that makes 100, or another one that makes 250. Okay. Because it's a progressive, so you know we could we could ramp it and hold it, let's say 50% and hold it at 50%. Okay. Which in theory should make half of whatever the GTA can make. But that is like what? Is it like a, like do I have like a, like a monitor or something or a screen or anything yeah, like, like that, that or like that a knob or a switch? The, no, that pro charger. You didn't see the pro oh, charger? No. You didn't see it. Okay, I'll let him charge up the car for you on the outro. Please. All right, we're going to go check out this uh, nitrous setup. Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay, very simple. So that's a bottle opener. That's an extra gauge you want it. Thing pushing 800 something to the wheel, god damn. So, that's the nitrous panel. So okay, basically, you arm the nitrous and the switch is this on. Okay, and here you can see engine RPM, throttle position, fuel pressure. Then you open the bottle and you have nitrous pressure. Uh huh. So why do you purge? Basically when you switch it on you have air in this in the line or, uh -huh. or in the nitrous line. So that's what when you purge it you need to see this white stuff coming. So basically that's the that's the nitrous. Uh, when, okay. it, when there is when it's clear, that means it's just air. Oh uh, okay. nitrous is white. So now it's just air. Cool thing about this, it's progressive control. So basically, you have five different tunes. So T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. So mm -hmm. if you go and if we go and look at T1, that's how much we use on T1. Okay. That's basically your percentage of nitrous. So when you go all the way up, basically the solenoids are just right over. Oh, sorry. It's so basically like this is so when you reach a certain R RPM. So at, at 3000 RPM, basically it has zero. Uh -huh. And it progress mm -hmm. as you go all the way to to maybe four, four, and four, five, or 5000 RPM, all the way to 6000 RPM. So if you look at T2, yeah. it's, it's less. Basically, it, it tapers down because that's a pump gas tube. So you, you like so you have this stage so uh, you don't get wheel spin or is it better for the engine like you can you, you can think about it in many different ways basically you're just ramping the nitrous in so mm -hmm. by doing so you could you could do it to prevent wheel spin you could do it to prevent the shock on the engine mm -hmm. because when the nitrous comes on you don't want to shock the engine with that without a hundred or two hundred horsepower mm -hmm. and basically this is what what snaps your connector rods. So by doing so, we were just going past or past the peak torque, where, where we call it the danger zone. And by doing so, we, we ramped that nitrous slowly all the way to 5,000 RPM. And from there, it just go straight line. Okay, cool. Let, let's say, for example, 100 is 100 horsepower. Mm -hmm. So now we're at 65, so we, we're shooting 65 horsepower. Okay. It's not that accurate, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but like as an example, yeah, it has some some safety feature. Like the nitrous will not turn on unless the RPM is at 3,000 RPM, uh -huh. and it will go all the way to 6,000 RPM. That's one. Then it needs it needs the, the throttle position input to be to be above 70 percent, and you can have it by by gears. Mm -hmm. like, you know, you could have different nitrous for different gears. Okay. Yeah, uh, and can you see the status of the bottle? Like, yeah, well, how much? Yeah, that's, that's what this screen for. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Like, it, it, here it shows you, like, stage one and stage one, uh, stage one and stage two is on. On T2, you can see them, it's on. On T3, they're disabled. When you go on the clutch, it yeah. disconnect the nitrous. So oh, okay. Can you change gears? It disconnect, and and you can have some safety features like, okay, I want uh, I want the nitrous to run between this much pressure and that much pressure. I want the nitrous to run when, when the air fuel ratio is between this much and that much. You know, you, you can still have you can have an air fuel ratio and put to this like uh -huh. a white band. Okay. 
the whole thing was a kit. Mm -hmm. I think someone, some company made this for a Mustang. Okay. But this, like with everything you've seen in the back with the solenoids, solenoids are kind of hidden underneath the cover. Mm -hmm. But that's basically, that's basically it. Cool, man. You could have this to, to run two stages of nitrous, or you can have it run like we have it in here to control the solenoids independently like it, it controls the fuel solenoid and it controls the nitrous solenoid by doing so like like i explained it to you before we can actually tune it or dial in how much fuel and how much nitrous we want for for every stage like in here like you see here between t1 and t2 that, that's how much nitrous we we run mm -hmm. with t1 And that's how much fuel. And can you set it up to like stop running if it's running too rich or something yeah, like that? Yeah. yeah. So you can have like a fail safe. You can have it spike like like nitrous comes on, then it just goes off. You want to do that? You can have it comes on by time, like when you release the clutch. Yeah. It comes on, let's say for five seconds, and it just goes off. You can have it by RPM, like we having in here. Or we can have it by gears, by individual gears, like first gear is second gear, third gear, you know, like you can mm -hmm. have different stages or different runs for, for different gears. 690, 690 or 7, 7 something, huh. low 700 without nitrous, and with nitrous it makes 840 maybe. Oh damn. I think so. Oh damn, is this a street car? Yeah, it has AC, it has radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Thank you so much for showing it. It's really cool. Is it something that I better do now since the car is here, or can it be done later, like easily as well? Just do it now. He doesn't waste time. It's yeah, I know, right? Wrong person to ask if you're looking yeah. for patience. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me know if I should uh, put nitrous in the Hellcat and Snowcat. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching this video If you liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up Let me know in the comment sections what you think if I should get that nitro system or not And as always make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you don't miss any future videos Thanks for everything. Take care